morning. Morning. Trust you slept well. Yes, thank you. I'd like to apologize for Shiraz's little outburst last night. Don't mention it, Doc. It's all right. Beautiful morning. Yes. Beautiful indeed. Um, we have a lot to get through today. I will have to speak to all the staff. Not joining us for breakfast, dear? I'm not hungry. Will your better half be joining us? No, she decided to have breakfast in bed this morning. What did you two get up to last night? Here, I brought you a croissant. Thank you. I'm glad he's dead, you know. What do you mean? Now that he's gone, Cabby and I will be together forever. I love him. He proposed to me last month. Nobody knows we were going to announce it this weekend. If that merger didn't go through, his father would have sent him overseas. Our future hinged on heaven's signature. But it's so awful. Mind if I join you? No, not at all. What are you reading? Just some poetry. I see. I've been thinking about this business with heaven and well, there's some things I think you should know. Yes? I overheard Cabby and Heaven having a heated disagreement yesterday, before you arrived. What about it? Well, I heard Cabby say that he wanted to kill someone, and not five minutes later we all heard Shiraz scream. Where was Cabby? Well, he was back on the green, but he could have done it while he was in the house. He stormed inside in such a rage. Well, that's all fine and well, but he's not the only one with a motive and opportunity. Yes, I know. You won't believe what I've just heard. I think Summer might have had a reason too. She surely couldn't have. I just overheard her telling my sister that she's glad he's dead. Why would she say something like that? It turns out that her and Cabby are secretly engaged. And if heaven hadn't signed, Cabby would get going overseas. Oh dear, no. Well, if Summer had reason, Cabby even more so. Wait, 